Go ahead, partner. Maybe. Yeah, I did the last <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that. I can't do that. Yes, you can. No, because you told me when I did it, he was like, don't do that. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Welcome to Real University, people. It's your boy K O Z Z I E, Mr. Kazi himself, and I got White Side to the right side. Hey. What's up, world? Hello, guys. I feel like it's been a long time. It hasn't been a long time. Don't even worry about that. We in the building. Yeah, I mean, welcome to Real University. Um, start off. Uh, what's going on, White Side? What's happening in your world? How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, I don't really have no updates. I mean, I mean, I guess oh, that's my talk to y'all. Um. Work, work. Don't say shit about it. Work it does not work. I <laughs> do work, and um, I don't know. Just cleaning up a lot of loose ends. Coming into the last month of the year, getting to the holidays. It's the most yeah. wonderful time uh, of the year. I don't know if it's what are you gonna call it a wonderful time. <laughs> it's definitely a time of yeah. I don't know, but it's definitely a month. Uh, I just feel like it's towards the end of the year, you're always around family. Like, it was just at Thanksgiving. Now Christmas is coming. Like, it's very family oriented, so. Yeah, she don't like her family. I love but, her. But uh, that's what's up, man. How about I mean, you? Uh, me on my end, it's been a journey. You know what I mean? Shoulder coming back around. Hey. Starting to feel like himself again. Got permission to go running. Do the show today. Yeah, that today. I'm not doing the show to dance at all. Now. But uh yeah, got permission to go running. So I took a little journey this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh yeah. I mean I could tell when I'm running it just doesn't hurt like it was hurting before. So But you could feel it like moving when you're when you're like, No, not while I'm working out, when I'm done working out and I sit down, I'd be like, Oh yeah, I ran today. I could tell I ran today. Hmm. You know what I mean? I but, guess you don't want, you don't really like really notice how much you use your shoulder. Like I mean, you know, it's not even the motion aspect. I don't think it's the motion aspect. I more so feel like it's the jumping up and down in your shoulders. That's what I'm saying. Like you just don't realize, like. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to uh, work all the pounds off that I put back on since I've been injured. And <laughs> you don't cook healthy as you should. But I you, do. You try, but when you be cooking sometimes and I be eating your food, I could feel like this isn't working for me sometimes. I, whatever <laughs> I made you, that was not. Yeah, we don't have to go. We don't have to right. discuss that on camera. But I cook healthy. You've gotten better in cooking healthier at times, mm -hmm. but yeah, y'all got work to do. I haven't, I haven't made no bad messes up in here. I mean, all good. You about to go to hell tomorrow, lying. What? I did not. Okay, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Be lying, guys. Yeah, you know I mean, but anyway, though, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we at university, we in the building. You know what I'm saying. We coming up on Christmas or whatever, and my homie Whiteside did speak on uh, being around family since mm -hmm. this is the time of the year that we spend a lot of time around family. Though, I mean, for me, I was gonna speak about uh, ask you about you know being grateful. You know what I mean? And since this is the time of Christmas, celebrating Christ and the gift mm -hmm. of giving and love and the whole thing of that nature, you know what I mean? I would just ask you what's one of the things that you probably would say that you're most grateful for mm. at this point in your journey of life right now? Mm -hmm. In my journey of life currently. Um, what I'm most grateful for? Have a support team. Having a good support team? Yeah, because... <laughs> I need a lot of support. I mean, what you need support with? Like, I don't know. Just um, for my emotions, for my mental. Like, I have little pockets that I need different support in different things and different aspects of my life. But I have a support one or two people in each of those little compartments. Some people are in more than one of them, and some people are just in one. But I have compartments. Okay, I mean, I told you, you got a little team, you know what I'm saying? You feel <laughs> no, me, though? No, I'm talking about my friends. Little team, team, got a whole little roundabout. <laughs> okay, then we go this route every time. Of individuals. We go this route every help. time, and then, I, and then if I, okay. I ain't speaking on my support. Oh, you okay. only spoke on your support. And I just called it support. Yeah, it's support. No. <laughs> See? <laughs> it goes out of y'all hard. Y'all. Support. Yep. Yeah, I mean, but not nah, though. Friends you know what I mean, food. that's a beautiful thing though as well. Um, I guess, I mean, for me, and some of the things I'm grateful for, I know definitely support is one. 
that I'm grateful for. Um, hell, just to be specific, I'm grateful for you. You know what I'm saying? You know, <clears throat> come on. Get out of here. You <laughs> gotta be extra. You can't just be like, thank you. You gotta do the show, the dance, and all that. My thing is, you get mad about this every time as you don't know that I'm extra. Because you gotta so I'm you... trying to help you be better in life. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. extra is not holding me back. It's not, I see. I see. But yeah, you know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? But definitely that man um but i guess if i yeah serpent like a man if i, I don't want to get the ice because huh? you put a lot of ice cubes in here but go ahead hey man you did it i'm not i'm, I'm appreciative go ahead see there you go. I, i'm grateful it could have been hot <laughs> <laughs> he put ice cubes in it like i asked i should have just been very detailed and said give me two cubes but yeah you, you, you know. say ice i break all the ice i can get in the cup that's how I operate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean. Okay, but continue. You're grateful. But yeah, 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 yeah. Um, some things I'm grateful for, man. Um, definitely family, yo. Mm. You know what I mean? Like for me, and having the opportunity to spend some time with my family. Um, this whole being out of work on workers' compensation thing has been a Y'all, trying time. I'm telling you, I get it. It's you know trying I mean? for you, but. In, in my life, I'm like, mm, leave my best. Where you going? I'm everywhere because I ain't got no nowhere to be. Like, no, no, yeah. no, no, not at That's all, not lot. at all. Though. That's a lot for me. I need to move. I don't like sitting still. I don't like like not having nothing to do. That's why you're saying you know? I'll be everywhere. But I try. I mean, I still try yeah, to you, you know go yeah. places or whatever. But at the same time, but you yeah, don't. I got to get back and do therapy. So. I mean, what, I'm going to just take off on Wednesday after therapy and go somewhere? Hell yeah. Oh, I'm not doing that. I mean, workers' comp, I'm blessed to have it, but damn, it ain't like it's... I might see here go nowhere back. expensive either. Like, it's all season. Everything. Like, you could be in so many different places. Right. You could take day trips and come back. I could, and then as soon as I come back around you and call for once, you running. And as me, yeah. <laughs> it's a new very it's yeah. a new very it is. Did you wear um, your mask? Yeah, it is, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. No. Got from last night, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I was, but I took some Alka Salsa and now I'm back one hundred. So it is what it is. Alka Salsa cure coronavirus. Nah, oh. I'm lying. Let me stop. Okay. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't part of that when when it's hey, her. Come yeah. at him. Let me stop. I'm a, it sounded like a Republican. No, this <laughs> well, not all the Republicans, just some of them. Cut it out now. Yeah, I mean, did you hear about the Republicans who said that mouthwash carries coronavirus? I stop listening to the craziness sometimes. No, man, you gotta tune in. I told you I love people who support Trump, so those are my friends. <laughs> you, like, <laughs> you like messing with them. Yeah, I do. Those are my friends. I love to deal with them and talk to them on Twitter. Hmm, they're your whole friends yeah. or just people you like messing around. I mean, you know. Depends on what you call a friend. Yeah, that's scary because <laughs> if you call me a friend and you call them a friend, and I'm your definition friend, of friend. friends in different pockets. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> what you're not about to do is try to use my word. No, no. I mean, different compartments. All right. Yeah, I mean. Cool. But Nado, Nado, I'm sorry. You see how you be getting me on track? Though? Anyway, man. Um, something that I'm grateful for, things that I'm grateful for, like I said, you know what I'm saying? Family, super duper grateful for, man. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? Since I've been out of work on this thing, I've lost two family members or whatever. It seemed like death is everywhere for real, for real. This shit is crazy. You know what I mean? Shout out to my boy Alawa. He just buried his brother at the age of like, I think, young boy. I think he said he was 33. Oh my gosh. What yeah, happened? He was in Nigeria. You know what I'm saying? Had to fly back home. You know what I'm saying? Situation. I ain't gonna go into too much detail about it, but shout out to wow. my guy. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying for you and your family. So. That's why I say for me, man, one of the things I'm grateful for is because it just seemed like it's everywhere. It's just running rapid. If it ain't COVID, it's something. I just feel like, I, mean? I don't know if it's more of it. I think because we're so focused on death right now because of everything. No, I definitely feel like it's more of it. In my it's a case, little bit more of my it. Case. It is a little bit more of it, but I don't want to say. home to me. Well, yeah, I guess it's always different when it hit home, but I feel like it's, it's out there. I feel like it's definitely hitting... Um, Maybe a little bit more than usual, but I don't feel like it's um, like an, an alarming rate more. I don't know. I don't know if they're reporting on it more or whatever the case may be. But anyway, for those reasons alone, man, family to me is becoming like super, super, super big. You know what I'm saying? And uh, somebody who I'm grateful for, you know what I mean? And I'm going to be specific in this, y'all. Okay. You know what I mean, Junior's mom. Okay. 
Straight up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this you one. Really? I'm sorry, that's part of my instruments. Okay. But, uh, yeah, uh, man. Shout out to Melissa, man. You know what I'm saying? Congrats on the new addition to the world as well. Yay. You know what I'm saying? Little Jax. <laughs> but uh, nah, man. Like, it's like for real. Like, I've been an active dad my whole life. It is right. what it is. You know what I'm saying? But even when I was in home, I was in home with the woman yeah. and the child. Yeah. So this situation that I just went through was the first time that I was with the child for an extended time period it was. by myself. I know. And as much as I loved it and as much as, you it know what I'm saying, I think it was super dope, <laughs> it, it gave me a new perspective of, and I ain't say a new, I'll say a renewed mm -hmm. perspective of this full-time mom thing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was like, Damn. This is what you do every day? Every day. But it's, it was a little different though because I'm further out than I mean, you know, it's still a lot travel of, time. It's but still a I lot. still, you know what I'm saying? And that's not to take nothing It's not to take, her. no. Just her day-to-day -day operation and what she had been doing, especially before, you know, all the other stuff came into the equation. Um, yeah, man. I was like, y'all, for real. And then, you know what I'm saying? I got a cool-ass little kid, you know what I mean? So it's, <laughs> it's all love, you know what I mean? Then to see him kind of blossom. Oh, Junior. Him, Shout out to know, Junior. Himself and how he operate, you know what I mean? Of course, I'm always grateful for my babies or whatever. He's, he's uh, definitely a character. Yeah. Deja, I'm coming for you. Let me just throw that out there. All the way. That right there. Okay. Um, mm. But, uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? That's something that I'm uber, uber grateful for when it comes around to this time of the year whatever like i'm gonna be honest though i hate christmas you're not a big fan of the whole I thing i still love christmas but i have hated christmas for the past six years i don't know if you know it's been around me like randomly i blurt christmas carols because i'm trying to convince myself to be in the christmasy spirit so I just like me. the music of it the whole like i just like the music of it and being around my family like you would love working at walmart yeah, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> no, but I just feel like the aspect of it changed for me once I became an adult. Like, because you won't get spoiled no more. You little privileged only child, you got I feel all like, the gifts. Hate. I, I ain't either. had to play with nobody. I ain't had to share with nobody. How you play games that's meant to play with somebody with some, and not have nobody to play with? How's that fun? You play with Nora. Shout out to Nora. No. Nah. Nora and Tata ain't play the games with you. But you had cousins, though. I, I didn't. The only one cousin that lived up here with me. Jamal was the only one. He was younger than me. Damn, son. I feel bad for your childhood. You said that's why I was that. never home. I was always in programs and here and there because I had my play with at home. I can babysit my cousin Jamal shot Jamal. I mean, we good now. Like once we got a little bit older, it was better. But like when we was growing up, yeah. you know, I had to babysit Jamal all the time. Like I mean, I had to babysit Deidre all the time. Man, I used to. She was. I, mm, I, to the one time I did, I got off of babysitting for a while. When shout out to Brittany who remember this, we was <laughs> we was babysitting Jamal, and we was playing um, wrestling or WWE. And we was trying to get him something to play something that he wanted to play. This little guy just got on top of my mom on the couch and uh, stood up there and like tried to like he was on the ropes and jump off. Oh yeah. And he jumped and like landed like directly on Britney's arm right here. Broke it. And we had to, wow. I was like, I don't know what to do. Because she was like, my arm. I'm like, mm. I said, damn, we gotta Is call me and, me and Britney the same age. My, it's, I grew up Britney like in the same neighborhood and everything. My mom and right. her mom were good friends. Okay. Um, but like, hey, I'm sorry, that was so random. Carry on. Mm -mm. Um, but <laughs> I was like, damn, we gonna have to call. So we got to call an adult now. That means we're gonna be in trouble. I was like, all right, I know your arm hurt, but we need to get our store together. <laughs> like, it can't be that he just jumped on your arm, like, cause it's like, well, where was y'all? What was y'all doing? That's I don't know. The perfect story. It, so then we came up and was like, well, there's no like, there's no, no way to get around it, right? So we talked about it, and so it was like, all right. So then I was like, all right, I'm gonna call somebody's mom and him. We was all like, so uh, y'all sitting in there, she in there in pain and trying to think. It was only life. like a ten minute little conversation we had before we made the phone call. Like it seemed a long time, but it was really like ten minutes. We was like, all right, for real, let's call a parent. 
And so then I was like, we sat there and I was like, I don't know who's parent to call. Like, who, which one be the first one we need to call? So we made a decision to call Brittany Mama since she was the one hurt and she needed to go to the hospital or something. So we called her mom and then her mom just made the phone tree call to everybody else. And then we wasn't allowed to babysit Jamal for a while, which was good to me. Like, y'all thought it was a punishment. Not me. Maybe I was trying to get out of it because, <laughs> I mean, I didn't do it on purpose, but. Yeah, Jamal, she trying to tell you how she really feel about mm -mm. you. I used, to, I used to torture Jamal. <laughs> I used to tie him up and put him in the closet and do walls yeah. and put a blindfold on him, like, see how long you can escape from the closet. What type of shit was that? Mm, he thought it was fun, so we played all the time. Tell you one thing, I'm <laughs> gonna have you as a babysitter. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, he said he wanna play the game. I was like, okay, cool. I got him hooked on fire. We used to play with matches. We was on a lot. Basically trying to teach your little boy how to escape from being uh, a terroristic escape. Hey, like, exactly. Like, it was a tactic. Like, I would get all the belts. I would go get my dad belts that he had from his room and tie them around his hand and his ankle. And then tie one of my scarf around his eyes so he could be blindfolded. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> Shout out to my mother for me not being the only child. And I knew hey, I had social skills. I didn't try to kill my I younger had social skills. This is the game he wanted to play. Who the fuck made you think that was fun? Like, he said that was the game he wanted to play. And you know you wrong for that. How? It don't took him like... He might have been there maybe like 30 minutes. Tied up with belts and blindfolds. He won't. He yeah, won't like, choke me nothing. He was just sitting in the laundry room. Oh my god. If he couldn't figure it out, he would say the word. I was like, all right, so you couldn't get out. I win. And yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I used to want you to have a child, which I think I'm good on that now. Cause... I wouldn't do that now. I mean, he want my child. I was just babysitting. Uh... Mm -mm, we got fun babysitting. How many times have you watched that shit to my son? Mm, no, I'm I ain't never watched it. <laughs> I ain't never watched it. Yo, you crazy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But nah, though, that's real though, man. I mean, that's cool. Like, uh, like I said, I ain't gonna harp on that too much more longer, though. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of things that I could speak on that I'm truly, truly grateful for. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of the anything. things I'm definitely grateful for is that I didn't have you as a babysitter as a kid. <laughs> um, been awesome. I was not very at all. Lady. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, you just taught that boy how to escape from Guantanamo Bay. That's a life skill. It's not a life skill. <laughs> it is a life skill. <laughs> no, don't go to Guantanamo Bay. That's, that's the life skill. Yeah, it is life skill. But if you go and get locked up, this is how. You know what? I remember what my big cousin taught me. Exactly. No. All right. Yeah, I mean, but anyway, anyways, moving forward though, I guess you know what I'm saying just touching on and uh, I guess staying within the same realm, you know what I'm saying, some of the stuff that we were speaking about. Um, as far as giving, mm -hmm. what's one thing that you feel like you that you have that you would want to give to your family, to the world, to mm. the people around you, friends, you know, sports, yeah. you know what I mean? And if you could, what and. It, while in that same sentence, you know what I'm saying? Like one thing that you could leave, if you had to leave one thing on this earth, what one thing would it be that you'd have? Ooh. Um, okay, that was a two part question. First part was what I was getting. Have a holly jolly. I'm sorry, what was that? Are you trying to commit yourself again? Um, to give, what would I give? I kind of feel like I kind of the same question. Leave, give. Um,. I don't know, it's kind of weird. What is one thing that you want to give to the world? Give to the world? I don't Y'all know if I have anything world. to give to the world. Everybody has something to give to the world. Everybody has something to contribute to the world. Okay, contribute. It's the same as give. Come on uh, now, let's put that ECU education to okay, use. Okay, I mean, uh -huh. um, I don't know. I feel like that's one of those things like, we in the passion, we're a peace. Like, I don't know what I'm... <laughs> Well, <laughs> you can't give world peace to the world, man. I don't know. Yeah. For the world to find peace, I don't know what I can give them. Like, uh, well, I would like respect. to give the knowledge of the knowledge and the importance of growth and understanding, and not trying to. Oh, seem like some advice for people. people. Okay. To it was a very simple question, man. It was kind of complicated. Yeah, well, come on now, put that pirate to use, but uh. Hey. 
<laughs> like I was saying though, you know what I mean? Just the idea of growth, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, you know, this time being down has given me a lot of time to think. Sometimes too much time to think. Well, you're all you're already like a, I'm already a overthinker, mm-hmm. but this Deep motherfucker thinker. has been in overdrive. I don't know how you make it every day. Really? <laughs> <laughs> For some time, you know what I mean? But uh, even with the, you know, the importance of growth and understanding, man, I really just really like feel like forgiveness mm. is something that to, I've really, really been. To, give, to forgive with. yourself or to forgive? Every, all of that. You know what I'm saying? That. Like, I forgive. I have been working on and in the process of mm-hmm. forgiving myself for a long time for mm-hmm. the people who I did dirty in my life or whatever. For the hurt you might have called. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I forgive motherfuckers for the shit they did to me. Yeah, you also you have to do you that. Know what I'm saying? But I, it, it wasn't easy. Like, oh. it was <laughs> not easy. If it was me. easy, everybody, <laughs> we wouldn't. Maybe some, for some people, it is easy, though. You know mm, what I'm saying? I feel like certain certain things to forgive are easy. I feel like I mean, the I level of it so, depends on but, how well you're like can just let it go. Yeah, I mean, but for me, I'm talking about the motherfuckers who like hurt hurt me though. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Like who like cut me deep type shit. You know what I'm I saying? mean, yeah. I, <laughs> so for me, just you know what I'm saying, forgiving all that type of shit, letting that energy go and understanding like it ain't doing me no justice, you know what I mean, from from holding on to it and then damn Google and they damn memories always bringing up. Boy, let me tell you something. That's a side note. Ago, that should have you in like a whole like, damn. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> and you'll, and you, it, it be like people in the picture, like, you might not even talk to them and be like, let me hit them up. Like, this is a, that's amazing. I was just thinking about that the other day. And then, like, yeah. I'm telling you, it'd be memory lane. Like, I don't know what. Like, yeah. Especially yeah. like some, like a good memory. Like, dang, that wasn't yeah. good memory. Good yeah, and bad, but yeah. it be good. It, the thing it be pissing me off is like in that moment. Of course, it's a good memory, but then how shit went sour is the most damning part behind it all for me. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like I said for myself personally or whatever. But ultimately, though, just forgiving people, man, and you know what I'm saying. It's some people who I would like to reach out to and speak to and kind of close some situations or whatever. But then again, I don't know if it's but you feel like do you need that closure for it to like I don't make a difference? Okay. 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 All right. You know what I'm saying? It was just for me, it would just I think it would be a dope thing to do. You know what I'm saying? But again, I also understand that everybody's not growing the way that I'm growing. Everybody's not progressing. Everybody's path is different and so I'll forgive them. But they may not forgive me. So whenever I come into the fold and I'm, you know, talking certain ways, you know what I'm saying, they still yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they're I said not ready. Before, if you know me, if you knew me, you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like with situations like that or whatever, sometimes motherfuckers don't really want to let shit go. They feel like, you know, what I did is who I am and not understanding that what I did was an action that I displayed in that moment. It doesn't define my character as a whole. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's why I look that's why it makes it easy to me for me to forgive them because I understand, like, okay, in that moment, you may have thought that what you did was right. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's like, understandable. You know what I mean? I ain't going to say I forget. And I may, even, I can, I learned that I know how to halfway forgive a motherfucker. <laughs> but we talked, but we had talked about that, like, halfway forgiving, like. Like, because, I don't know, I ain't going ain't gonna to get a whole yeah, backdrop. No, right. But it was a dude, one of my frat bros who did me wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some wild right. shit. Yeah. And I seen him at the Chapel Hill game, and uh, <laughs> I had told myself if I ever see this dude again, I'm like rocking off, like in just my off mind. Game, just it was like, yo, wherever we at, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and put pressure on oh, you. Okay, whatever. okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The wildest shit in the whole situation was on the way to the game. He was on the phone with another one of the bros, and talking about you. Nah, he was talking about a situation with a girl. Mm-hmm. And he started crying. In the situation right that No, moment. in that moment. Oh. He was crying about the situation with the girl. Mm-hmm. But the oddest shit was, 
he fucked up my situation with my girl. With that same girl too? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It was my girl. Oh, you're saying, oh, okay. He fucked up my situation with my girl. Ooh. And I'm like, bro, you supposed to be my bro. Ooh, like, like where bro code at? You know what I'm saying? Ooh. And Ooh. hearing him cry. But have you had done that to somebody else before too? Have I fucked up some one of my bro's situation with a girl? Mm -hmm. Hell no. Okay. Hell no. Nah, like, I, I, I say what say what you may about me, but I'm loyal to the bro code. I don't be doing no shady shit to my dudes. Like, nah. You know what I'm saying? I would never. You know what I'm saying? That shit totally out of my character. I mean, I mean especially for him to do what he did to me. <laughs> shit, no. You know what I mean? That's why I was so mad about it because I'm like, dude, I just couldn't like wrap my mind around the fact mm -hmm. that you would actually. You know what I'm saying? I mean, fuck, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? He basically went back and told my girl, mm -hmm. yo, I was with D and D was doing X, Y, Z type shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, for it to come back, and I was wrong for what I was doing, but damn, bro. <laughs> shit. He like, ain't read damn, the Steve bro. Harvey book. He ain't read huh? it. He ain't read it. This was way before the Steve Harvey book. We well, actually didn't help y'all out. I was helping us out, so never mind. I take it back. <sighs> yeah, whatever. But, uh, yeah, man. So, when I seen him, I dapped him up. And he tried to do the Hush. personal oh. fraternity handshake. Oh, no. Nah, we good on that. Yeah, I bought that back down. I'm like, nah, bro. You get an office handshake. You get Ooh. a... And he was like... I. And then he kept talking or whatever. And in my they head... Still ain't gonna lie. Huh? They still together? Who? Him and the girl? Yeah. Nah, that's why he was crying. Oh. Because okay. he got caught up. Doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So exactly. He got his payback already. Yeah, I mean, but like I said, it ain't on. It won't on me to, you know, what I'm saying, determine what his payback was or wasn't. But at the same time, I will say, you have anything to do with it? Oh, okay. So you didn't have anything to do with it? Huh? Nah, I ain't had nothing to do with it because I ain't that type of dude. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But I know the pain that he caused me in my situation. You know what I'm saying? Granted, I was wrong for what I did. Mm -hmm. But my nigga, <laughs> damn, help me. Right. <laughs> like, if I knew you was gonna be like that, I would have just dropped you off yeah. and then went back doing what I was doing. Come on now, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, that's not <laughs> here nor there. Um, yeah, he got me. Whatever, you know what I mean? I guess too the fact that uh, he was holding his daughter in his arms kind of made it a little easier for me not to punch him. So. That was a bad time for you. I'm gonna wrap that one up. Yeah, we gonna, you know, we gonna keep it moving past that point though. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I gave the boy a half handshake. That's the best I had to offer. I mean, it was a whole handshake. He just wanted that, nah, that personal touch. You know what I'm saying? Because then, my, uh, me and my friend was when we shake hands, yeah, we bring it up and we do that. Keep I mean, secret. Nah, it's, not, it's not a secret. Because oh. what we do inside is secret. Oh. But what we do here, everybody see. Oh, oh it's yeah. something that happens in here? Yes. Ooh, 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 okay. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing? You stupid, huh? Don't worry about it. But yeah, but ooh. he got none of that though. You know what I'm saying? Like I said though, blessings to his princess. She saved daddy face, and she don't even know it. Along with uh, Roy Williams, uh, not Roy Williams, but Dean Smith, Center Security. My All of them Smith. played a prominent role in me not <laughs> hitting him in the face. But anyway. You know, life goes on. You know what I'm saying? I situation fell through, but it is what it is. Okay, so and now we both out here. Single. So it is what it is. But anyway though, you know what I mean, moving forward though, man. So uh, mm. this is the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> Flat as ever. <laughs> <laughs> flat as ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, flat outside ever. of all that sob talk, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We up. So, we gonna keep it up. We okay. Some good energy, some positive energy, you know mm. what I'm saying? It's Christmas time, you okay. know what I'm saying? For the next three weeks, I'm singing all Mariah Carey Christmas let's albums. Let's pause. Let's repeat. pause. Can you say, like, not sing? Can you just say you're gonna be, um, humming? Nah, I'm hitting all the high notes. From all Mariah she can Carey, hit them now. Christmas albums, you know what I'm saying? That's going to help me get in the spirit because I don't like Christmas. And I said I'm tired of not liking Christmas. So this is my last year. Last year was my last year not liking Christmas. This Ooh, year, good. So I'm going to find a way put my list to like Christmas. And I'm going to tell you right now what your gift is. 
everybody is getting bags of shelled pistachios. Can you make mine some sweet chili, please? I'll get you some sweet chili. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody, people. Can it, if it's Christmas, can I get a bag with the unshell and the shell? Let me be pushing it. I'm out on workers' compensation. I ain't got the real check right I'm gonna now. I'm going to get both of them bitches. Yeah. They got oh, a lot of flavors online. Huh? They got barbecue flavor. They got honey something. They got honey roasted ones. Shit, I, I just bought a pack of some other shit in that, in that spot. Right there. But anyway, though, no, um, yeah, though, man. Merry Christmas to the world. What do you what are your plans for the holidays? Though? My plans for the holidays is smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, he no. ain't playing. <laughs> he ain't playing, guys. He not playing. He not playing. He laughing, but he's so serious. He's so serious. Stop. Okay. Stop. All right. So what's your plans for the holidays? <laughs> Family. I okay. Yeah, family. That's it. So let me ask you about this question. I have um, good name, but how the family matter song go? Uh, Love not, and condition. Yeah, don't do it. And the grand design. Yeah, Some people it. say not, it's true. even harder to find. Well, a then there song. must be some magic. That's not I'm a sorry. Christmas song. It don't matter. Family matters. Inside these gentle walls, cause all I see. I words go. I'm not helping y'all. You Real know. love poking out of that bitch. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're saying. It doesn't matter. Family, yo, for real, man. I'm taking a trip to the P. I'm loving on my grandma. You know what I mean? Thank God for uh, watching over my aunt Deborah. She had COVID and pneumonia. She's walking around on the oxygen machine, but she's still here. So, you know, I'm going out there to rub up on my family you know rub up on nobody ain't gonna rub like inappropriately rub no forgot right. it. you know what i mean like you know how i hug you know what i'm saying i, I should be hugging people you don't need to hug so they can you don't need to be hugging love. people i am don't tell me i'm not hugging my family fucking crazy my family mm. fucking crazy all right see that's what i'm saying i told y'all that's why she don't hug her family she don't love them like i love them all right i love them so much i'd rather protect them and not hug them what you mean, nigga? They got all nine COVID shots and all seven boosters. <laughs> all right. Exactly. And they don't go no motherfucking way. Okay. Right. All right. Am I wrong? Am I lying? Am I saying something that ain't true? Huh? But you're not. You're the dirty one. I'm dirty. <laughs> Word. <laughs> That's what the old person told me. She's, okay, she's I'm the dirty one because I'm unvaccinated. Yes, I am unvaccinated. I have body autonomy. Alright. So, my one question I want to ask you though is, you know, when no, we, what are your plans for the holidays? I'm the same thing as Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Chill with my family, me, Tar my mom and dad. Sonora. That's okay, it. Cool. So, what you wanted to ask me though? What's up? Before we get up out of here, make it quick. What's one? Because I always wanted to start like a tradition to have for Christmas or something I do with my family. What's something that you feel like you we wish you would have started already? Toe jam crackers. This is why I was talking Every about Christmas people. we should eat toe jam crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If anybody's seen the house party, you have to be of a certain generation to understand where that joke come from. But yeah. Ha. Huh. Michael Collier. Oh, you ain't seen House She probably ain't seen House Party. She doesn't watch really? a lot of black movies. We just, anyway, go ahead. Oh, I did. I had you watch it. I've been watching. I had to take. I had to take. Uh, nah. A tradition that I wish that I had started. Hmm. What's your family? What family? Doesn't matter. You have a lot my of family them. from my childhood. It's your choice babies. of what have you want to answer. I mean,. One of the traditions that I started, you know what I'm saying, when I was younger in the household with uh, my dad that I always thought was super dope is that you get to open one gift at midnight and you get an hour to play with it. I don't know if everybody do that or not. You know what I'm saying? I was only in my house, <laughs> so I can't speak for everybody else. It's very generic. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, that's really what it is, though, because if you really, like, for me, you know what I'm saying, uh, I'll say this. I'll, I'll give this. This is a, a honest truth. The last Christmas that I enjoyed 
um, involve Christmas games, mm -hmm. Christmas music. Um, we had a seafood broil on Christmas Day, so we didn't have the traditional food. Mm -hmm. But the night before, we just made all type of little sweet homemade candies mm -hmm. with like different creamers and whips and things of that nature. And the kids just enjoy themselves, you know what I mean? And we like, I feel like we damn near had like a little food fight, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if that's a tradition that could be created or anything of that nature, but I can say that that Christmas was a Christmas to remember. Okay. So, yeah. Sweets and food fights and shit, all of that type of stuff. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's me and the Grinch. You know what I mean? But in anyways, so we have the university people. Hey. White side. On the right side. K up. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Oh Christmas yeah, you're right. Christmas. Happy no. holidays. He really can't sing. <laughs> Like, I'm telling you, I'm gonna make my next video in the shower so y'all can see how I really get out. <laughs> see these parts with water just glistening all over my body. I <laughs> told you, believe he belongs to the streets. <laughs> and you see, that's gonna be on my OnlyFans page. Let me stop playing. He got me. Uh, what? I'm just playing. Yo, we up. We out. Love you guys. Happy holidays.